Can you just sum up uh, the emotions of, of that experience and, and making your All Black debut? Yeah, I suppose it's been a dream, dream come true today. Um, I suppose just a whole credit to my family um, to getting me here. Um, it was awesome to get my dad over for the game. It was a bit of a last minute rush, but um, it was awesome to share that moment with him, but then also my family back home. Um, it's been a pretty surreal couple, last couple of weeks, um, getting called in and then obviously getting named earlier in the week. Um, for me, I just wanted to go out there and do my job and all the boys were really supportive and um, yeah, they were awesome this week. Is it everything you expected? The, um, the atmosphere, the altitude, the, the density? Yeah, I suppose everyone talked about the altitude and stuff all week, but I don't think you quite realise till you get out there. It's, it's really tough and um, yeah, just keep, it's hard to keep getting off the ground, but I think the boys really honed in on that this week. Um, keep getting off the ground, keep working for our mates, and it was awesome to get an 80-minute performance. Fletcher, when you got the call, you know, um, midway late in the second half, the game's in the balance. What, yeah. What's going through your mind? You, you know, you're out there to play the championship minutes, aren't you? Yeah, I suppose just really grateful that they had, had the trust in me to put me out there. Um, yeah, it's, it's been... It was awesome to get out there. Um, there's r lots of really good leaders in the All Blacks team, and they made me feel really calm. They had trust in me all week. And um, just for me to go out there and do my job. Glad you got a chance to catch up with Dad yet, talk to him? Yeah, we connected after the game. It was, it was really special. Um, yeah, he's immensely proud. And um, yeah, I'm just so thankful for that he could get over here and we could share the moment together. What, what was the moment that, you know, through it all, the build up, the anthems, the haka, getting on, you know, what sticks in your mind at the moment? What, what's, what are you still buzzing about? Yeah, it was, it was awesome to get out there and do the haka. I think it's what you dream, dream of when you're a young um, Kiwi growing up. And um, to get out there and um, hopefully don't mess it up, as I think I did all right. But, um, yeah, um, it was just getting out there with the massive crowd. Um, the boys talked about it all week, how it's going to be a massive challenge. And uh, I'm just so proud of the boys that we could get the job done. You have to let them know you're the good luck charm too. <laughs> I don't know about that, but, yeah. Actually, you're on for about 25, 30 minutes there and you've got a few scratches. What do you think it would look like after 80? Um, yeah, it would be pretty tough going 80 minutes. I was talking to Sam Kane after the game and I said um, it's just amazing how you boys can put an 80 minute performance in with the altitude and just shows the character of the boys, um, how, how deep they're willing to go for the team and for New Zealand and um, yeah, I'm awesome, awesomely proud of everyone. When you're out there in that, in that last quarter of an hour in the games, you know, toing and throwing the lead, you know, what's it like out there? Is there a sense of calmness? Did, did you feel kind of the purpose in the team that you had this even when you lost Bodhi to the bin? Yeah, I, I suppose you don't really think about that you've lost someone. Um, the leaders are really good at bringing everyone together and next job focus. Um, I think, yeah, we've got some awesome leaders in the team and they, were, um, they did a great job of keeping everyone calm. And, um, yeah, I think that showed out there in those last minutes. It's nice for you to come into this environment, which I suppose can be a daunting one to come into. Have a guy like Jason Ryan, who, who's there as well, a guy you know from the, the Crusaders. Has that been quite a nice connection to have? Yeah, I suppose it's been awesome, like working with Jason the last couple of years in the Crusaders set up, and there's so many um, leaders in the team that have also been in the Crusaders. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been really easy to fit in with all those boys, and everyone's been really welcoming. And um, yeah, it's been a pretty surreal couple, last couple of weeks, but um, there's no other place I'd rather be. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably misremembering Fletcher, but your first scrum, yeah, looked like you destroyed them a wee bit. What would you feel like when you looked up and the referee was giving a penalty to them? Yeah, I suppose it's just kind of what the referee sees in that situation, but um, we'll have a good review of our set piece like we always do, and um, there's all, always going to be things to um, work on. Now yeah, you've had a taste, do you want more? You know, this test match rugby stuff? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, playing one game um, is unreal, but I think it just, yeah, it's far in my belly to play more, and um, I've just got to keep training hard and um, keeping my body right to um, give myself that opportunity. Will you get together with Dad for a few coldies tonight? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We'll head back to the hotel and have a couple of beers. Yeah. Was it your first game in South Africa? Yeah, first game in South Africa. First game against South Africa? Yeah, yeah. And what, what was that like as going from someone who's obviously played two Super Rugby Pacific final, how did that compare to uh, going up against the best of the yeah, I suppose like you grow up um, watching South Africa and New Zealand and the massive battles they've had in the last um, decade and years before that and um, you never really think you get the opportunity to run out there and verse them but um, yeah, I suppose for me it was just going out there and doing what I've always done, um, doing my job, trying to do it really well and um, yeah, I'm just yeah, severely stoked that the boys got the job done. And bruising, uh, was that out there? 
Um, yeah, it was really physical out there. Um, nothing, nothing new to us. We already knew what they were going to bring um, from last week. So um, for us, it's a forward back, which is the front, um, and match their physicality. And I thought the boys did a good job of that. And um, yeah, fortunate enough to come off the result. So. Does this feel like a bit of a turning point for this team, given your start to the year um, and the adversity and the noise and the criticism? Does this feel like a bit of a turning point? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, to be honest, in camp we, were, we weren't really taking too much notice of the outside noise. Uh, we knew what we were capable of as a team. And, um, and uh, like tonight, we just showed like what we are capable of and um, the boys played really well. And I'm uh, just happy we got the win. So I'm saying, I'm sure before you came to Ellis Park, you'd heard all the stories, you'd seen the games on the telly. But did you actually get a little bit blown away by what you actually experienced out there in terms of the noise and the... Yeah, um, I was, to be honest, it was really a good, it was a good atmosphere and um, as a rugby player, that's what you dream of. Uh, and now I've got to experience it, it's a bloody um, good place to play and it's really exciting and the noise and everyone's getting behind um, the, their team and um, yeah, it was tough, not just physically but mentally as well, so I'm um, just happy we got the win. So only you had two young props alongside you today that came in, uh, you know, as starters. How important was you was it that you guys, as a front row, um, you know, established yourself early and, and made your presence felt? Yeah, I think um, going on from last week, they got the upper hand on us at um, scrum times, and it was a work on for us all week just to take that take that step forward. And um, yeah, proud of the of the boys stepping forward and um, we took that took their side to, um, to them and um, yeah, just happy. With where do you think you were better as a as a pack this week than last? Where, where do you think you really made the, uh, I guess, the improvements in inroads? I think we, um, like I said before, it's just we knew what they, they're good at. They're good at scrumming, they, could, they got it in more. So um, for us all, all week, we were focusing, if we take them out, take that away from them, then they have to go up, go to um, places that's not their strength. So. Um, yeah, that's what that was what we uh, focus on all week, and I'm happy it paid off. How much does that take out of your out of your legs when you're having to defend the rolling mall the way that you did down that corner? Um, it takes a lot, not just the leg, but the lungs too. The mm-hmm. altitude is really it's a really tough place to play, but um, boys stuck at it, and um, yeah, happy with the result. So you generally did well, obviously defusing those malls, but there were a few penalties there. What was sort of behind the calls there? Um, I'm not too sure. I think I'll leave that to the ref. Uh, my job is just to play rugby. So, um, but obviously the ref sees it in, uh, in the way he sees it and we just got to go on with it and keep on playing. When you went behind for the first time of the match, uh, you, you lost a play, you were down to 40 men. How strong was the belief still that it wasn't over? That there's still an opportunity that you're only going to get the, uh, back to 15 or two minutes to go that you can still pull this off? Um, the belief is always there. Um, uh, from the start of the season, we always believe in, in our camp and um, what we're capable of. And uh, we went down to 14 men, but yeah, the belief was still there. Um, we packed the boys, and we knew that if we stay in it and keep on the fight, we'll come up with a result. And uh, fortunate for us, we did. So was it tough watching the last couple of minutes from the bench? Uh, it was quite nerve wracking, um, <laughs> but like I just said, I believe we all believe in each other, and we packed whoever's out there to do the job. And 